Hey everyone, I'm gonna do a video on how to pile drive six by sixes into a lake for a seawall or a deck. Um, this is something, this is a video I've been looking for for almost a year on how to do this. Haven't found anything. You know, luckily I have a neighbor who um, built that, uh, that unit out, you see out there on the water on top of that post and gotten one down so far in about uh, a quarter of the way on that second one you see out there. And it's uh, just thankfully for him, he, I was talking to him about it and he had made one for himself. He lives over there at the end. And I uh, just wanted to make a quick video because there's nothing out there on how to make, how to do this properly. And without, you know, hiring a backhoe or jetting. I mean, jetting's great, you know, but I want to be able to just get out there and get it done and I have to uh, jet and hope it works and, you know. So here is uh, six by sixes. I've cut these with the Sawzall about an eight inch blade on it and made a wedge. And the reason for a wedge is if you do it on all four sides, it tends to move around a lot and you can't get it lined up with uh, your string line. So cut it in a wedge, use a sawzall. You don't have to be accurate. I mean, these aren't perfect, but as you can see, they're not, all, they're not perfect, but they work. And guess what? They're in the ground so nobody sees them. So as you can see, what I've taken up, I have had significant property loss and damage due to uh, wakeboarding uh, out here on the lake I live on. I have a wakeboard boat, I'm not complaining, just saying that's the that's what's happened. And I'm going to talk to you about this right here. And I'm not going to show you a demonstration, it's just me out here. And this thing's about uh, 85 pounds, as you can see. It is a man. It is very hefty. I think that's about a quarter inch thick steel square tubing. It's about, uh, I would say, seven inches, six, seven inches diameter, interior diameter. It has a metal plate welded on top. Uh, you can't see it right now, but on this side, on the top, of the plate it's drilled out and welded in here as well as spot welded on all four corners and of course around it this thing when you get it on top it works there's no doubt about it it's heavy i'd recommend two people but uh i wanted to go ahead and get started and create this video and i had a significant water drop as you can see and i wanted to take advantage of that so you want to use two people this one's made for two people uh, it can work with one um, if i was going to do it by myself I'd take these two off so you could get one hand on either side, one arm on either side, pull straight up and let it fall. This is so heavy, all you really have to do is let it fall. Lift it up, you know, halfway let it fall, and it's driving it straight down uh, into this uh, into this earth. Um, what I'm doing beforehand is I am uh, taking a ladder and with a uh, sledgehammer, and sledging it down just to get it steady. And then I'm walking this weight up the ladder. And that's probably not the safest way to do it. Again, having two people, one on either side, lifting it up would be the best way, but this is what I'm doing. This works extremely well. I mean, this, this post took me, uh, I wanna say 10 minutes of driving. And you know, that was me taking breaks, you know? So if I was just actually driving it, I would say, just straight, two people, two minutes, maybe, two, three minutes, by myself taking breaks, maybe five or six blows, take a 30 second break, five or six blows, take another 30, six, 30 second break, maybe a minute break, you're looking at about 10 minutes. Works extremely well. The reason why I'm creating this video is I have not seen anything like this on here. Everybody's using, you know, a backhoe or something or the other that just I don't have access to, so. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Please ask any questions. I'll try to look at this page periodically to help you answer. Great. Thanks and have a great day.